Is Genesis a true luxury brand? And if so, how does it stuck up against other luxury brands when it comes to servicing your vehicle? Watch this video to find out. I recently had my first scheduled service for 2024 Genesis GV70, and I wanna share this experience with you. More than once, both in person and in the comments, I often get the same question, that if I consider a GV70 a true luxury car, but what makes a car luxury? And according to cars.com, luxury cars often use higher quality interior materials and have features that are not available on lower price models, like engines, transmissions, sound systems, telematics, safety features, and are packed with more amenities. They also may have more sound insulation, higher quality body parts, and aluminum or carbon fiber components instead of steel. So far, so good. I believe that our Genesis GV70 holds up pretty good in most of these categories. Premium brands also set themselves apart from mass production brands by offering longer bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranties in most cases. At least in the United States, most mainstream brands offer a 3-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, and luxury brands usually extend their initial warranty coverage to 4 years and 50,000 miles. But in the case of Genesis, it offers even more at 5 years and 60,000 miles bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage. And they offer their 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty on their powertrains. And remember, that this is the same coverage that you will expect to be found in the other two brands from the Korean automaker, Kia and Hyundai. Another aspect that sometimes makes a car luxury is its price tag. And in the case of Genesis, their most affordable model is the G70 that starts at about $41,000 and their flagship model, the G90, can get over the $100,000 mark. I've owned many cars from different brands like Lexus, BMW, Audi, Acura, which are considered either premium or luxury brands. And these brands usually offer more services when it comes to bringing in your car for service or maintenance, such as lower vehicles or various concierge services. One aspect that sets these and other luxury brands apart is their installations. Usually their waiting areas are pretty nice with maybe they have like a lounge or complimentary drinks, coffee, snacks, and other things like continental breakfast, big screen TVs, comfortable seating areas, things like valet parking. But most importantly, they have a fast and efficient check-in and check-out system. As some of you may already know, I'm new to the Genesis brand and I really didn't know what to expect in this department because I've heard not great things about their dealership experience and service departments and I was just hesitant to bring it in for the first time. A recent study by JD Powers published on cars.com revealed that Genesis, Kia and Hyundai rank pretty low in dealership satisfaction. Among premium brands, Genesis ranked 14th in dealership satisfaction while Kia and Hyundai ranked 11th and 16th respectively among mass market brands. I found this study so helpful that I'm gonna hold my own experience in relation to this study. The vehicle ownership experiences more than just the vehicle itself and you have to take the good with the bad. Some of the reasons why we chose to go with Genesis was their generous warranty but also their free maintenance. And so far my experience with Genesis has been a good one, has been transparent and with a pleasant purchasing experience without any hidden fees or forced dealership installed options or markups or GV70 hasn't had any breakdowns or unexpected issues. But to be more throughout in documenting our experience, I have to include the Genesis servicing experience to the overall rating of the brand so that you can get a better idea or insight in what it is like to own one of these vehicles. I'll rate this first experience servicing a vehicle with the Genesis dealership pretty high. I would say it's a five star out of five. Let me explain why I gave it a five out of five. We used our Genesis service valet option. Honestly, we loved it. Let's see what it says on the website first. A luxury vehicle that values your time and schedule. With Service Valet, you can schedule service online or with the app and have your vehicle picked up wherever and whenever you choose. You'll also receive a loaner vehicle and select when and where your Genesis will be returned at your convenience. So that's your promise online, but let's itemize it to see how it works in real life. First, it says that you can schedule your appointment online or with the app. And I just couldn't do it, but let's keep Genesis, the benefit of the doubt, maybe it's possible that I just couldn't do it and it's possible to do it through the app or through the website. 
because on the website as well as in the app it will ask you to choose between service and express without telling you what is what then it has a series of options from which you have to choose again i just wanted the 5000 mile service normally this service will be just like an oil change and along with the oil filter and maybe a tire rotation but that's not for me to say because i'm not a mechanic so i ended up calling up the dealership just old school and asked for the 5000 mile service and voila they just knew what it was then the website says that you will have your vehicle picked up wherever and whenever you choose. And I'm happy to share with you that in our case, that's exactly what happened. I was off work that day and they picked up our GV70 from home, but I could have chosen to have it picked up from my wife's place of work. Um, the catch with this is that they do have certain area restrictions per dealership. And in the case of a dealership, I think it's like 15 miles um, around their dealership that they can pick up the car for you and service it. Furthermore, it says that you'll also receive a loaner vehicle and select when and where your Genesis will be returned. But when I called, they told me that they wouldn't have any loaners, uh, which wasn't a big deal for me because I was in the comfort of my home, but it would be nice to have experience, maybe a different model from the Genesis lineup. Um, and I'm glad that it was just a normal oil change. Otherwise, what uh, would I be stuck home without a car for the rest of the day? The valet showed up right on time and confirmed the service plan for the day and took off with their GV70. Exactly three hours later, he was back with a freshly washed and serviced GV70. Here's a receipt, just letting you know everything that was done to the car. Don't worry about the price, it was all covered. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a good day, man. He was courteous and gave me an invoice and went over with what was done with the vehicle. I have zero complaints. I was actually pretty pretty amazed with their service and a couple of days later I got a call from a very very nice lady who was assigned as my what is it I think they call him service concierge she was super nice and it was refreshing to hear an actual person on the line versus an automated robocall JD Power says that the average service appointment wait for premium brands is 5.4 days and in my case if I would have gone to the dealership there was an opening about two days away from the day I called, but because I wanted to try their service valet feature, I had to wait five days, which is within industry standard, so it wasn't bad at all. JD Powers also says that the average cost for a service visit among premium brands is 380, and my invoice totaled 283, of which I paid zero, because remember, we have free maintenance for the first three years and 36,000 miles. So as you can see, my first experience was great, but it was not without a couple of surprises, and let me make it clear that they don't mean a thing to me, but I can see how some of you may be bothered by these. When I first called my local dealership for service, the main number was answered by an automated message identifying themselves as Genesis, but at some point, a person answered the phone and then rerouted me to a Genesis specific service advisor. Their dealership is a standalone Genesis store that is not next to a Kia or Hyundai store as one would expect, but actually next to a Subaru store within the same property. Actually, when I signed my documents for GV70, I did so at the finance manager office from a Subaru store. So it is a weird setup in which the Genesis showroom looks great. I mean, it looks brand new, similar to what I've seen from Lexus, BMW, and Audi, yet I still wound up at a Subaru office. And I say that while Genesis is trying to set itself apart from Kia and Hyundai, hiccups like these may be frowned upon by some customers that are new to the brand. Actually, let me show you my confirmation text that I got when I scheduled my appointment. A couple of times that I have to reset my password for the app, I get an automated reset password email from Hyundai. Remember that in the United States, Genesis as a brand didn't start until 2017 and the Genesis was a name for an actual model within the Hyundai brand. So in the last few years, Genesis has been growing their Genesis exclusive showrooms in an effort to improve the perception of Genesis as a true premium brand. But let service is a great step in the right direction for Genesis. And for my next schedule maintenance, I'll make sure to opt for taking it to the dealership so that I can see what it's like and document my experience and bring it to you. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit that like button, make comments, ask questions, and if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing for more related content. My name is Juan Carlos. I'll see you next time.